Oh, I am running the planer today. My planer is a uh, Woodmaster. That's 25 inch. I'm doing this because I'm going to show you. Uh, I was just in my living room, and now we're going down the hallway and into the barn. Yeah, I got a weird uh, living arrangement. There's the Woodmaster. I ran inside real quick to grab me some uh, water. There it is. Okay, I got it shut down for a bit. Um, I know that my setup is weird. <laughs> Look at this. So, uh, my other channel, which if you guys are just watching my Lumberjack channel, you probably don't know about my other channel, which is just simply Bodie Pennington. Bodie is spelled B-O-E-D-Y. I'll try and put a link or something like that. Uh, but here's my chainsaw room. Check it out. Um, I don't have all my chainsaws in here. They're actually in a different room. But anyways, this is about the planer. So I got this um, a while back ago uh, uh, during, during COVID, stuck at home times. The whole thing, this is the, uh, I, think it's, I think it's a 725 PM planer molder. Uh, you can also switch out the cutter for a sanding drum. Um, I have used the sanding drum. I'm not particularly impressed with that. Uh, and it's easier probably to sand uh, with just a regular sander or by hand than it is to hook up the, uh, the drum for the sander. I was having issues one end of the, uh, of the shaft that the drum uh, that, that slides onto was like mushroomed for some reason. Maybe I did it, maybe it was like that, I don't know. But anyway, it's hard as heck to get it in and out. And I think I've pretty much decided I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it on anymore because it was just a pain in the ass. I had to grind on it forever. But it's a good machine, I'm really happy with it. Um, it's got the helical, uh, cutter which is pretty fantastic. I have not done anything to my helical cutter. I definitely hit a, a nail once. A big 16 penny nail went right through it and uh, I thought that I had noticed well at that point on it, it always left a little line but I believe that it just always leaves little lines. Uh, you can probably see them well, heck, maybe I can show you. This, uh, the lighting's not very good in here. See right there, right there's a line, All right? Now that will just sand off no problem. Um, but let's say if right here, the nail is where it, hit, where it hit the nail, right? Well, it actually is all over the place. There's a little line right there. It's just little spots that uh, just, I don't know if it's, it, I don't know what the deal is, honestly, I really don't. But I don't care either. So the machine actually is taking extremely rough cut lumber. You just saw that. That's this, all this stuff on top right here. All of this is hickory. And uh, I am planing it. And the job that my machine is doing is excellent. I am happy with it. So as much as I could complain about that little line, psh, uh, I don't give a shit, you know, this is coming out nice. Like see right here, I don't see any of those lines right off bat. I'm feeling some stuff, but considering how rough it is, and man, I take big bites too, man. It's I'm cutting like a 32nd of an inch at a time, or maybe even a 16th of an inch sometimes, depending on what kind of wood it is. But, uh, Right here, this is um, uh, the, the vacuum, and man, it fills up. It's not too full. 
it fills up fast though uh which yeah, that's a pain in the butt probably should have gotten a, a two barrel system but now this right here i believe is a three horsepower vacuum setup and uh i mean it does fine i'm not using this thing all that much you know but uh here this is this is all sweet gum if you uh, look back on my videos i milled up some sweet gum and i was like you know people say that sweet gum's terrible lumber and you know it warps for sure check that out you know it's warps but you know these are long these are like 12 feet long and um the grain looks fine to me now they say that your uh your oils and your especially stains sweet gum does not absorb them very well um so this stuff right here is they say it's mainly just good for painting um but anyways so far so far i mean i like the look of the wood but uh yeah if it doesn't accept stain very well what i'll probably just do is I'm building doors out of this stuff, but they're not like really nice doors, so don't worry. Um, they're doors like this. Look, I haven't shown you this. So right here, get some light. All right, so that's the door for my son's room, and that's all red oak, and it's bad too. It is really bad red oak. It is. Look at this. There's big cracks in there, you know. But uh, like I told him, you know, all of our whole stuff is, is really rough. But, you know, ain't nobody going around here looking through the little holes. The door itself looks freaking stunning. And it looks great. Love it. I love the door. So, but yeah, it does have little cracks in it and everything. So that's what I'm doing with the sweet gum out here. I'll be making at least two doors just like that one out of this sweet gum and then i'll probably make one door or maybe two out of this i've got four doors in total to make but honestly this hickory is so pretty i think i'll probably save most of it for a, a really nice project where i want to do something really nice so anyways that's the woodmaster and it works great all of these little boards right here that this is for this is all hickory i'm probably going to take these little boards and make one door and then i'll make three doors out of the sweet gum but we'll see we'll see how it goes and of course i'll show you what it looks like and everything but yeah the woodmaster i believe it is a pm 725 um and it has the helical cutter i've cut a lot of wood with it too and a lot and it has yet to actually require um new blades i guess you would call them um you know whenever it stops cutting and don't cut anymore then yeah i guess i'll, I'll swap, swap out the blades but until then i'm just leaving it the way it is Sorry guys, if you were wanting a guy who like really does cabinetry and really, really fine woodworking, I am not that guy. I got this because it will do up to 25 inch planks at once. I've run big slabs through it and it has actually done fantastic. So anyways, that's it for now. Check you later.